In today's most special of haunted Halloween deadly sins, we're talking about witches in Magic the Gathering, who have been pulled back into the spotlight thanks to Throne of Eldraine. Eldraine is a plane of magical hexes and untamed beasts who all reside in the wilds, a realm outside the orderly realm filled with fair maidens and honorable knights. In this dynamic, you can just imagine who the witches of Eldraine tend to prey on. Witches, by definition, aren't strictly evil. We've seen witches on other planes described as shamanistic, as healers, basically just women who practice magical arts. That could be maybe a little dark or taboo. What sets them apart from other mages is their use of objects and ingredients to cast their spells. Using natural herbs or body parts and brewing them into a spellful concoction is a classic of the witch. Even in her time, before becoming a full-on necromancer, Liliana Vess could have been considered a witch, a young healer with an appreciation for brewing solvents. Sounds like a witch to me. On Eldraine, we have no legendary witch creatures. In fact, we don't even have any cards with the witch creature type. That's because they've created a new term to encompass both male and female witches, though they are traditionally seen as female. This new term is Warlock, which sounds a lot like Necromancer, but it's actually just another term for a person using magical ingredients to cast spells. This was seen in Piper of the Swarm, a malcontent mystic using an enchanted flute and melody to curse a village with rats. This is a Warlock, a male witch. Really cool direction they took the creature type, and finally giving it an actual phrase. The closest thing to a legendary witch or warlock we get on Eldraine is actually from the stories of the vengeful witch, Egretta, who was known for her preferred tactic of sicking flocks of ravens on those who thought they could end her terrifying reign in the wilds. Egretta was like other witches, whose spiteful spirit drove her to hex neighboring towns with plagues, poxes, and famines. They were agents of the wild, and as such, whenever a hex befell a town, the knights of the local court would be sent out to flush out the witch and end them. These tasks were typically left to paladins, holy champions of each court skilled in defense against hexes. Witches on Eldraine don't only hex villages, they can also target individual people and objects. Many victims befall the enchanting allure of a witch with dire consequences. Sometimes they're turned to stone. Others are forced into relationships with a witch. Such was the case of Eldraine's witch's most famous victim, the High King, Algenis Kenrith. Algenis fell prey to a love potion made by a bog witch while questing through the wilds for the High Throne. She needed a noble knight of pure heart, and Algenis was just that. Algenis was hexed, but the witch didn't do this out of love. She wouldn't ever feel love again. She did it out of her own self-interest. You see, witches produce their spells through a number of different ingredients, but the rarest and most potent of all is the blood of a pure and innocent child. That's right, this witch cursed Algenis Kenrith into a relationship so that he would father children with her only for her to murder the babies and use their blood for an elixir of immortality and youth. Those kids, the first she born murdered, were none other than Will and Rowan Kenrith. The twins were slain by their witch mother, but that wouldn't remain their fate. Their adoptive mother, Lyndon Kenrith, a knight in her own right, rode off to rescue Algenis. When she found the dead babies, she did the only thing she could think of, expending her enchanted sword able to restore life that was given to her as a sign of the quest for the High Throne. That sword and its magic is another story altogether, but Lyndon gave up her only chance for the High Throne to return these infant twins to life. Will and Rowan lived through their biological mother's scheme, but still, witches in the wilds seek the blood of innocent children for even worse, more destructive ends. A sin to commit a sin. Witches are by far one of the worst, most terrifying anomalies one can find in the wilds of Eldraine. They're filled with hate and loathing, and look only to enrich themselves and harm others. Be careful the next time you see an enchanted spin wheel or doll. A witch may be laying a trap, and you could be hexed next.
And there you go, ghouls and ghosts, another deadly sin of Magic the Gathering. For this special spooky season, you can actually enter for your chance to win this video's topic discussion, its actual physical card that I'll be giving away as a treat on this oh hollowed holiday. To enter, all you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel, hit the like button on this video, tick the notification bell, and leave a comment. For each of the seven deadly MTG sins, I'll pin the winning comment to the top of that video showing the world the winner. So quick, enter as soon as you can or risk your chance at some free cards. I hope you're all enjoying the holiday and this series. I super appreciate all the community goodwill going on right now. As always guys, thank you all so much for watching and until next time, see ya.